Hey guys, uh, I'm just going to give a quick rundown of the of using the new Laravel 5 Artisan package for Sublime Text that uh, I've been pushing out. Pretty awesome to use. Um, what I have here is just a you know base Laravel install. Let's go ahead and open it up in Sublime. And so the first thing that we're going to notice is that there's a bunch of new Laravel commands once you install this package. You know, basically all of them are there. Um, there's a few that aren't, but I'm working on it. And so the first thing I want to show off is let's make a controller. And so you see here, you know, artisan make controller. And down here we get this nice little text input box as opposed to you know having typed it into the command line and so let's say demo controller okay so that's created successfully and what we can do now is you know if we needed to um, edit that you know add our stuff in here um, then um, the next thing you might want to do in a project is start making models. Um, so let's go ahead and make a model. And you say, you know, make model. And so let's just make a quick little uh, demo model here. And again, create successfully. And close that out. And open it up. Ah, that's the wrong one. Uh, demo is what I wanted. Sorry. <clears throat> and that's pretty standard artisan uh, stuff there. Now, where this gets kind of fun is that this also integrates the uh, the Jeffrey Way Laravel Generators package, um, which if you don't have, go ahead and get it because it's freaking awesome. Um, this guy's runs Laracast, makes some great stuff. So once you go ahead and run these, or this compose require command, and add this to your service provider, uh, you can go ahead and have access to uh, these two uh, things right here. And so let's go ahead and make a migration with a schema. And what this will also do is make a model for us. So down here we're presented with the same friendly little uh, text area so let's go ahead and create new users table and then instead of having to pass a schema flag with uh, you know equal sign quote marks and your little column type schema uh, you get a little text box and we're going copied here so I'm going to go ahead and dump that in there and nothing new here just a copy and paste job out of the, the github readme for the laravel generators Let's run that, and so it's created successfully, and so that's going to give us um, our migration as well as a new model, which is exciting. You know, it's banging out a few things. So how about running those migrations? You know, normally you have to open up your console and you know run all that stuff there. We don't got to do that. Uh, we can just run that straight from here. Um, so we have a few commands for migra migrations. We can uh, generally run one. We can install, refresh, all that good stuff. So let's uh, migrate. And we can see here that that was run without a problem. Now we can uh, add data and do what we, want, what we need to do for testing. And uh, let's say we needed to change something in that in that migration, you know, something we weren't happy with. Um, let's go ahead and open that back up, and you know, change this default email to, to bar. That's much more adequate, probably. And uh, we can refresh that now, you know, and just you know, roll back everything and uh, migrate the new stuff. And changes are made without ever having to open this bad boy up. 
Now there are a few commands that are not available just yet. I'll give you a rundown of those. Um, the first one that is included but doesn't quite work the way I want it to is serve. Um, it will run and you will be able to access your you know, local host 8000 um, site, but you can't close it. So I, I'm working on that. Don't recommend using that just yet. Uh, the next thing that we're not quite there yet with is the make um, jobs and listeners. Um, the command line arguments for those, I'm still going to try to figure out how to parse those out, the flags and whatnot, but uh, they'll get there. And then the next two that aren't quite there yet are the handler commands, or the, the handler creation stuff. Um, again, it's just kind of command line parsing with the flags and options and whatnot. It's kind of holding me back right now. But uh, we'll get there and we'll be able to run on basically all this stuff very comfortably from the command line. Or not from the command line, from the Sublime Text um, window here. So I hope you guys, you know, are using this and are, are liking it. And if problems or stuff you might see, um, just add an issue to the GitHub repo, or add a comment to this video, and just let me know what you think. Um, happy hacking.